Splendid Cartoon. Please subscribe to this channel. Girls, I'm super excited. I'm screaming. My hubby just got me an early birthday gift. Like, sometimes I feel like my life is a movie. Look at that beauty. Oh my God. That's why I keep telling everyone I care about that. If you are in an abusive relationship, please walk away. You might say, oh, Becky, he doesn't beat me, so he doesn't abuse me. My dear, any man that allows you up on a downfall or an Uber is abusing you. You're a queen and you deserve more. Get more queens. <laughs> ah! Wow. How can one person be this lucky? Well? Well? What? Aren't you going to ask what's on my mind? I was hoping that if I ignore you hard enough, yeah? You said I don't have energy for your drama this morning. Why haven't you got to make a car? I was right. I don't have energy for your drama this morning. Honey, come on. Haven't I earned it? <sighs> Let me think. Um, no. I need a car. I run errands a lot. I'm tired of struggling with passengers at bus stops. What are you talking about? I mean, what about personal taxi driver, right? So, since when did you start struggling with... Okay, fine. It's embarrassing. And all my friends have cars. Plus, I'm sure we have some money tucked away somewhere the that we can... The only money tucked away anywhere is our emergency funds. Okay, and I'm not going to pull it out. I'm not going to take any of it to get you a car. Fine. What about my allowance? Melissa, I just gave you money for the month. <laughs> In this economy, a monthly allowance is not sustainable anymore. Like I said, I don't have energy for your drama this morning, okay? So, just ah. enjoy. <laughs> and number five, if he doesn't give you a weekly allowance of at least a hundred K, my dear, that's an abusive relationship, no cap. And if he's okay with you running around without your Android, <laughs> that brother has to go. And that's an period. <laughs> Ciao. What do you think you're doing? I'm trying to make love to my wife. It looks like you're going to need to release money into my account if you want to get me in the mood. Okay, so just because things don't go your way, you punish me for it, huh? See, I have news for you. I'm not buying you any stupid car. Yes, I'll use my emergency fund to buy a land and invest that money. At least I'll sleep satisfied at night knowing that I put my money to good use. Fine, run away from the conversation as usual. No, I'm not away from anything. Okay, I'm going to Google wise and good investment plans. Rubbish. Wow, where did you get the car? Is that how to say congratulations? Congratulations, but where did you get the car? Since you have failed to buy me one, I decided to buy myself. The last time I shared, you didn't have a job. So where did you get the money to buy the car? 
Can you at least be happy for me? We will discuss how I got the money later. No, I want to know now. Where did you get the money to buy this car? Calm down. I didn't rob a bank. I'm not joking with you. Where did you get the money? It's a gift. A gift from who? A gift from me to me. Is it a bad thing if I spoil myself a little? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, have you joined the small girl big god gang? Because I don't understand. <laughs> no now. You know I wouldn't do that. So tell me. Make me understand now. Remember the money you gave me to open a boutique? Yes. The loan I took from my office when you insisted that you want to start a business and you wouldn't even let me rest until I gave you the money. Calm down, babe. Let me finish talking. Sorry, go on, go on, go on. So, I took from the money to buy myself a car. What? After all, if I start a business, I will still need a car to move around conveniently. Wait, are you... God, are you listening to yourself? You use a large portion of your capital to buy a car while you have never started the business. Wait, is this mental malaria? Don't talk to me like that. I don't like it. If you had done your responsibility as a man, I wouldn't need to put from my capital. What responsibility are you talking about? Taking care of me and making me feel like a queen. Wahoo! Domestic violence is not only when you beat your wife. Allowing her to use public transport is also an abuse. I'm sure you got the quote from your Becky, right? Does it matter? Have you sat down to think of the prestige that comes with your wife driving her own car? Oh, <sighs> prestige is a little thing, Mumu. For now, investment should be your priority. I don't know why you don't use your brain. Babe, it's okay. The deed has been done. Ah. <sighs> done. Do this. Can you please take some picture of me and my new car? Be like that you know well. how you can be your own boss you know stop letting these men push you around you know I made my first million when I was 17 can you be that and that's because I never took no for an answer and that's one of the reasons Terry fell in love with me because he knew I always went for what I wanted and you see this car it was a gift because of my resilient spirit. Lady, hello woman, you are in my shots. All these women, I think she has dementia or something. You are the one that has dementia. What did you just say to me? So you are the slut that does not only want to break my own, but also run my husband dry. Lady, what are you talking about? Do you have any conscience at all? We have five kids, five kids. Do you know how much school fees cost for one? And you made my husband buy you a car. You better go elsewhere and get your sugar daddy, you mad woman. I don't know this woman or what she's talking about. She's clearly high on cheap drugs. This car was a gift from my Terry, you witch. Me, high on cheap drugs? You are high oh, on cheap drugs. Are you, 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 are you,